Okay, I'll get started here. Uh, what do you, what, where can I start other than that is a very good football team. I want to give them respect they deserve. Uh, Kirby does one heck of a job. Uh, that is a complete football team. Uh, very tough environment. We knew we had to play at a high level and uh, we had to uh, execute and have disciplined execution. And uh, I, I love our players and the way they play and how hard they play. We just didn't play very clean tonight and uh, very disciplined against a quality team that will expose you uh, the minute you get out of gaps, the minute you uh, don't do things uh, the way you're supposed to. And, um, you know, they have some of that to, to do with it and others were self-inflicted, started in early when we just uh, didn't get lined up right. We have a good opening drive and, and uh, just have a simple alignment. So a lot of things we could correct and get better. I'm very uh, still love this football team and uh, love the way they work. Uh, we just have to have uh, better disciplined execution uh, when you play quality teams like this. So we'll get back to work. Okay, if you have questions, go ahead and raise your hand. We have several in the queue already. Uh, John Hale, go ahead. Mark, what was kind of your thinking on that tight or that timeout at the end of the game? What message did you kind of want to send with your guys with one more chance to, to punch it in? The end I don't know. I just, you know, really, I don't know about the message, but, you know, I wanted to score. You know, that's a quality defense. And, uh, you know, you don't know whether things are going to play out the rest of the year. And, uh, we had an opportunity to score, so we did. David? Um, how would you describe how Jordan Davis affects your offense and just trying? I can't quite hear you. I'll try to make out what you're saying, I really. Um, but uh, Jordan Davis, Jordan he's Davis a, yeah, he's a heck of a football player. He, he affects the game all the time. Uh, just very disruptive. Nick Roush. Mark, what did you uh, what did you think of the way that Will played today uh, with all the pressure against that, that good defense? You know, I really thought he competed his tail off and uh, played exceptionally hard and um, gave us an opportunity in certain throws. Um, tight windows, and uh, I think there's still quite a bit to build on, a lot of good things that he could build on from this. The, this defense is going to make uh, a lot of, lot of quarterbacks uneasy. It's a, it's a tough unit. Josh Moore. Hey, Mark, you guys in the past couple of years have been able to run on them. I, I won't say easily, but, but better than most teams have. What was the biggest difference to die, you think? And, and, and they able to continue yeah, it, it, it was disappointing to not be effective at all in the run game. And uh, I think they have a lot to do with it. They are uh, as good as I've seen them. In, in, uh, and, uh, you know, they know we want to run the football and we want to have that balance. And uh, they've got some they've got some different ma difference makers. At, at all levels. So, again, I think you have to credit them, and there's uh, things we need to do better that we can do better and will do better. Larry Vaughn. Hey, Mark, your defense has been so good at not giving up big plays. I think Georgia had 10 plays of 20 or more yards. Is that just you credit them, or did you guys just not have a good day defensively? Both. Both, um, or some plays like yeah, there's a couple early, um, well not early, in the second quarter, and uh, you know th this is you know with the type of explosive backs they have, if you if you're not precise, then they're gonna they're gonna make you pay, and um, you know we have one where we get one guy scraping a little too wide, wide a safety coming scot free clean, Yusuf read it too fast almost and they both end up in the same gap looks terrible and get a 20 30 yard run when in fact it should be a you know two yard gain so that's on us uh, but again there are so many things that they do well I'm not trying to take away from that uh, but we were not very precise tonight John Hale 
hard drop passes were a problem tonight in several situations. You made it clear recently you need to recruit more receivers, but where do you see room for growth at that position in the second half to just get some more guys to be more there? Oh, we definitely do. Isaiah just got hurt late in that game. I hope he's okay because at the tight end position, he's becoming a weapon, doing some really good things. And, you know, we need some guys to step up other than Wandell. You know, hopefully we'll get Josh back here soon. But, uh, you know, we need some guys to step up and compete and make tough catches or make routine catches. Um, wasn't very good tonight. You're just spinning ahead a little bit. How do you take this and, and not let it turn into another loss? I know it's a couple yeah. weeks from now. I really don't believe that that will be the case. Our team knows we have a good football team. They know um, that we could compete and play better than we did today. Um, you know, they, they have a strong belief system. There's so many things we could do better. Um, they know they belong, and, and uh, we have to regroup. Everything's going to be, you know, one-week seasons now. You know, this one will be two because of the bye. But uh, we have to regroup, you know, learn from this once again and have a great uh, bye week. You know, we're certainly beat up, but I imagine most teams are uh, through this, This, you know, through, what's that, through seven. You, so. you mentioned earlier the, the you never know what's going to happen for the year in terms of scoring there. How much are you kind of thinking a little bit about, you know, what this team, you know, can do, you know, win 10, 11 games and maybe still be in that conversation, you know, for the our, playoff. Our team knows that uh, we have a good football team. And, uh, you know, they we have to get back and have good practices. We can't get too far ahead of us. Um, on any given Saturday, crazy things happen. You know, it appeared to me that there were some different things going on today as well. I mean, this is college football. It's uh, chaos at times, and uh, we have to we have to concentrate on ourselves and uh, get rested a bit. But uh, I'm not going to lay off them too 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 far too hard. We have to push through this. We have a team. Uh, we have a chance to have a good team and uh, do some special things. And we have to uh, get back at it this week. Nick. you mentioned the shot that Cummings took. Do you have an inclination? severity of that? It's a arm injury. I don't know how severe it is. I, I don't know. John Clay? John Clay? Oh, sorry. Uh, Mark, I know your team's pretty beat up physically. I know you say you want to stay on it, but do you feel like from that standpoint, the off week comes at a good time? I, I do. It is, it is what it is. It's here. Um, we've uh, tried to push through pretty hard uh, ending on this this uh, seven game stretch playing here on the road with the number one team uh, tough sledding and uh, that's the way it is and needed to play better um, the bye is here um, we will take Monday off and, uh, and just watch the film and then get back at the practice on Tuesday. So, yes, I hope it's at a good time. I hope we could get some guys back. I hope we could get some guys mentally and physically healed up a little bit this week. Juice, obviously not the result that you wanted, but what are some positive takeaways from this game that you can tell without watching film? Oh, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean. You know, we're not into that anymore. I mean, there's there's no moral victories. I mean, I think our, the only thing is our team knows when we execute and do things well, we could be a pretty good football team. Um, we can't make mistakes against great teams. I, I believe this is a, a great team here. I don't, I don't know if there's many great teams out there in college football this year. Um, I know this one we just played is. scoring the last touchdown, but just about from a confident standpoint from your team, just going down the field and individuals like that, was was that important? Their confidence going forward, do you think offensively, just to be able to drive the ball down the field whether you scored or not? Yeah, I think the 
scoring drive we had in the what was that the second quarter was a good drive. It's not easy to drive. I don't know how many plays it was, but it was quite a few plays. You don't get many chunks against this group. So to grind it out and to drive it down and score is, is tough. That's why they haven't give up, given up very many touchdowns all year. Um, so I thought we had, that was a really good drive when the game was still on the line. It was 14, that made it 14-7. We had another good drive that uh, we had our opportunities to either score a touchdown, certainly the field goal. We have to get that fixed. There's no excuses. Um, that that just just can't happen. I mean, those are some big boys, and uh, we've had some issues inside on field goal, and we're getting blown up in there. And uh, we've got to get uh, we've got to get that fixed. And uh, but. You know, that was a good drive, and it ended up with a, a field goal attempt that got blocked. But uh, so, yeah, we had a few good drives in there against a very good group. Ivan? Hey, Mark. Uh, I came in late, and you said a couple of times you didn't like the way you played. But, uh, you didn't commit a turnover. You only committed one false start in front of a very big crowd. You had three long drives. What didn't you like? Well, I didn't like the the outcome. You know, I, I, I like I like I said it uh, to be at the beginning, uh, Ivan. I said it to our one of the first comments I said to the team is uh, I still love this team uh, as much right now as I did this morning. Uh, I love this group. I love the way they play. I, I, I know um, they did a lot of good things, and I agree with you. We you know this is uh, what the number one team in the country looks like. And uh, that's what we're aspiring to look like. Um, we did some good things, and uh, there's a lot of good things to build on. But there's uh, so many things that were self-inflicted. Now, again, I mean no disrespect or taking nothing away from Georgia, because I said it four times. I think they're a great team. But, uh, but um, we have to execute at a higher level when you're playing in this, in this, this type of team. And there, there is execution uh, issues that we haven't been making. And uh, we did in this game in certain certain areas, and really defensively, it is really what you know perturbs me the most. John Wong, Mark, you said that it was so difficult to simulate what Georgia does. Did they do anything specifically that surprised you? And could you also comment on their quarterback play? No, they didn't do anything different. I mean, everybody has wrinkles and tweaks and new plays, new looks, window dressing. Um, but uh, they're they're a good team. You know, when when they're physical and can run the ball in uh, play action pass like that and keep us off balance, it's uh, you know they did what they wanted. I mean, rushing for 166 yards uh, keeps you off balance and sets up their pass game. Um, so you know, we'll we'll continue to work at it. Uh, Stetson Bennett had a very good second half. They came out, um, you know, obviously on a mission to throw the ball and got us off balance early in the game. You know, they um, only had probably 10 or so attempts. It looked like at half. Not sure exactly, but uh, definitely they emphasized passing it and keeping it, keeping us off balance in the second half. Dennis Dodd. Mark, excuse me if this has been answered already, but why was it so important to call that timeout and then just score at the end, besides the obvious, but um, in a game that might have been decided by the Yeah, I, I, I didn't use the word. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you phrased that. So important. I don't think it was so important. Um, yeah. I just wanted to. you guys wanted to try and attack the flats and use some screens against their defense. So what went into that plan and what did you guys see to try and attack them that way? Well, anytime you're playing guys that are elite pass rushers, that's always going to be part of the game plan. Um, just to try to slow them down and try to create some explosive plays with their aggressiveness. But again, they're very well coached. Um, late in the game, we had one they brought pressure and it just took so long to develop. You know, they're Linebacker, very athletic, uh, made one of our O-linemen miss or, 
you know, could have been a touchdown or an explosive play, but they, uh, again, give them credit, they, they made the play, we didn't. And uh, so I think you always try um, to create some uh, screens against defenses like this. And uh, we had a few that were successful. All right, last question, John Hale. Actually, this is uh, Tim Sullivan from the Courier Journal using John's computer. Uh, Mark, uh, there have been a couple of references on social media to your burn the ships uh, speech pregame. Give us a sense of what that was about and um, what you were hoping to convey. Uh, really, uh, burn the ships. I don't know who, where that came from. Um, I might have said that, um, but that wasn't in my weekly discussion. We actually used a uh, clip from a from a movie talking about no rope. To be honest with you, you know, there was a scene that I showed them early in the week of a movie um, with a wrap uh, with a rope attached to them. So we had different different uh, uses for motivation this week. Uh, no ships uh, may may have just come out at the end there. I don't I don't really even know what you're talking about. To be totally honest with you, um, but uh, they maybe took a clip of that. But we had some other messaging this week that uh, I used much more than that. Coach, thank you for your time. Yeah.